Welcome. Uh, certainly glad to have you guys here. Uh, it's going to be one of uh, many events. I mean, I had to look around and, and uh, follow you guys into this room. So we're just kind of learning the building right now. It's coming together, not finished yet, uh, especially down by the locker room area, but up top, the press room and the seats and everything. Uh, one of the best uh, views in, of any rink in the country. Well, it's like having another player on the ice. The uh, the low ceiling with uh, really the difference, I think, in our building and everything else. And uh, it's nice that it's sold out, too, the, the guarantee that we're going to have 7,800. It was 75, and they found 300 more seats. So, And I'm sure they sold them right away. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a good size for, I think, the community of Omaha. And uh, great for the students, too, because I think they have about uh, 830 tickets. I've been back and forth and coming over through the construction, but the players uh, kind of refused to come over as a team. They wanted to, to come into the building and, and skate right away. They didn't want to look around uh, just because, you know, Ralston's been a, a good place for us. Uh, CenturyLink Center was a good place for us, but it wasn't our home. I look at our, our top three lines. There's not a, another team in the country that can skate with us in the top three lines. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to uh, have uh, that kind of instant success, but I think we'll possess a puck a lot. We practice that way. Like Tom had an article today about it's nonstop motion. These players talk to each other. They communicate well. They like each other. Now, I think that was a secret last year, along with not any trouble off the ice. They really liked each other, and, and this group of freshmen uh, coming in are the same way as last year's freshmen. I felt it since uh, last year when we got into the Frozen Four. I really thought that this program had arrived. And I thought we were good in, in other, other years, other times. But as soon as we qualified for the Frozen Four, um, I could really see a giant step. And with a young team, you know, only three seniors last year, followed by three seniors this year. We talked about a goal all year of getting to the Frozen Four. One of the big goals this year, they don't even know yet, is to get to the finals in the playoff at the Target Center. We haven't been there yet. I mean, we've got NCAA bids, but it's always gone through uh, other circumstances through the NCAA bids because our, le our league's so strong. We want to do it this year, get good position in the playoffs, home ice, fourth place would be fine, and then get number five, win that, and get down to the Target Center. I remember playing with the Lancers. They, uh, they were, t there was talk all around UNO about all oh, this new arena is actually a real thing. Like, and uh, so I heard that, and I was just got so excited and just wanted to make sure I prepared for this moment and be able to uh, help the team out and get to this spot. So we're uh, it's a great day for UNO hockey. Couldn't be more excited. Um, days uh, it's just a few days away now. Finally, uh, kind of get the nod and get the ball and run with it. So. Um, it's been, uh, like I said, two years in the making, a lot of hard work and preparation, and um, we're going to see how it all plays out now. I can't control the shoes that I came into. I, all I can control is my game coming forward, and um, I'm doing everything that I can, and I'm extremely confident that I'm going to be able to fill those shoes to the best of my ability.